Hey gang, in this video here, I wanna talk about content strategy, and this is the exact strategy that we teach in the Content Strategy Blueprint course. I learned this from my friend, Dana Molstar from bossmom.com. Uh, but first of all, what I wanna talk about is the fact that, before I get into the strategy, the fact that publishing content without a strategy could actually be hurting your business and helping your competitors. And when I map this out, you'll understand why. So let's look at the customer journey that we need to take someone on from them being cold, not knowing who we are, not really you know, trusting us enough to buy, all the way through to warming them up into a lead and eventually a customer. So it all starts with an awareness campaign. And so the content strategy blueprint that Dana taught me and that she teaches in the course is broken down to these four campaigns. It all starts with awareness, where we basically make them aware of the problem. Because before this, they're unaware. And this is another thing that uh, my friend Kim Barrett teaches in our Facebook ads course is the purpose of Facebook ads really initially is to make them aware of the fact that they have a problem that they should be paying attention to. So the awareness campaign just says, hey, you're a dentist, you're probably not getting enough high value customers, you're spending too much time on low value customers, I bet you'd love more cosmetic customers because they're worth more. And all of a sudden they're like, huh, yeah, you're right, I would like more high value customers. So once you've stirred up the awareness and you've made them aware that they have a problem, the next thing you wanna do is position yourself or your client, I know some of our audience will be selling content strategy to their clients, you wanna position you or your business or your client as the authority in this space. We're not selling anything yet, we're not offering any solutions, we're just positioning as the authority. So in this case, it would be like, um, hey, I've written this blog post about how dentists can attract more high value Invisalign customers, or I was featured on this marketing podcast for dentists, go check it out. So you're just positioning yourself as the authority. The third campaign is what we call an engagement campaign. And this is where we just wanna get the people who are now aware that they have a problem and have kind of bought into the fact that we're the authority, we wanna get them engaged in some kind of activity so that they're putting their energy into this topic. So that could be a, you know, a quiz or a download or uh, it could be a live webinar, just getting people engaged in, and there's a whole bunch of different campaigns you can run their engagement to get them to focus their energy on this. And then finally, of course, we wanna run a conversion campaign and this is either where you get people to join your email list, join a Facebook group or ultimately buy your product depending on the conversion that you're going for. So why is posting content without this strategy hurting your business and, and feeding your competitors? Because you're probably posting content at the moment that just does this. It just reminds people and creates awareness of the problem, particularly if you're posting solution-based blog posts or articles. Hey, this is how we do this with WooCommerce. This is how we do this with Buffer. This is how we do this with Hootsuite or whatever the thing is, right? This is how we design in Figma and turn it into a website in Elementor. All you're doing here is a little bit of this, right? There's none of this going on. So you're creating awareness for the problem and if your competitors are better at doing this, they're going to capture that market who are now aware, they're gonna be seen as the authority, run them through engagement and ultimately convert them. So posting content without a strategy could actually be hurting your business and helping your competitors. You wanna make sure you've actually got a content strategy in place. Hope you find this helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments feedback and questions below this video. I look forward to speaking with you in the next video. Until then, I'm Troy Dane, go elevate.